Hello everyone, this is Beat Dog, including the dog. This is my current project. It's an 89 Ford Mustang, 2.3 liter. It's my daily driver and a big old POS. I have the HHO installed in the back seat. I'm gonna show you where I installed it. This is the system. It holds uh, one gallon of electrolyte. Um, there's actually two cells here. That's why there's two reservoirs. It's actually two stacks, seven plates, five neutrals. Uh, it's got a constant current PWM. Uh, I currently am um, running it at about 21 amps. And uh, it's installed in the back seat because uh, it's warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. So it's also a lot easier to get to and do maintenance and, and uh, adjust things. In the front seat here, I have my controller. Um, the top gauge is the voltage at the cell on the plates and the bottom gauge is the amperage um, going to the cell. On the front of the control panel there you can see the banana plugs. Those provide the uh, EFI voltages, the O2 sensor voltage going in and the voltages coming out. Also my MAP sensor voltages I can plug into. It also has a large um, switch there for master uh, shut off, override, whatever you want to call it so I can turn it on and off. Okay, now you can see that the, the system is on. Uh, the constant current PWM pulls about 22 amps when it starts and then the voltage starts to drop a little bit and then it'll settle down to about 21 and a half or so volts. As you can see it's 12.69 volts at the cell. I also have a thermometer right here that shows the top temperature is the that's the temperature inside the vehicle and the bottom one is the temperature of the cell. You can see the cell a little bit better from this angle. Um, diamond shape. The plates are 6x6. They are 316L. Um, got a quick drain here that runs out so they can drain the system and uh, the white bottle there or the white tube in the center it's actually a catch can. It, uh, it collects the vapor going into the bubbler uh, that's full of rock or uh, full of glass beads that I bought at the dollar store. Um, and then this is my bubbler and it's a, a four inch and uh, it holds the water and keeps the flash back. And then the hose goes down and goes underneath the car along with the positive terminal going to the battery. This is the back of the cell. This is where I have the thermometer um, sensor is connected to the brass fitting there so that I get a direct contact or temperature sense of the fluid going through. Uh, this is the stinger relay that is triggered by the fuel uh, the fuel um, pump voltage and then the constant current PWM. Right now it's producing about two liters. I've got everything uh, wrapped up in wire looms. The uh, 12 volt wire comes off here, goes around wraps around there. There's the map sensor on a Ford. That's what your map sensor looks like. Mass air pressure. And then continues over and uh, and it goes, it actually goes into the wheel well and then underneath the vehicle into the back. The gas is introduced into the engine here the intake just before the throttle body. We've got to wrap in the uh, plastic there just to make it not as obvious. And this seems to work really well for me. 
currently my EC setting is 0.22 volts added to the O2 sensor. I'm adding two liters, around two liters of gas, and currently my miles per gallon uh, freeway is 43 miles to the gallon. It's a 53% increase. Here's a cell from the other side. Um, anyway, I hope this uh, gets you guys inspired to do your own project because this is a lot of fun and I'm having a lot of... Um, I will also post my emissions test. Um, I recently went through the emissions and uh, I scored zero carbon dioxide at the exhaust and only seven parts per million at crews of hydrocarbons. So that was a, a major pass for this old POS. Alright, well I'll talk to you guys later.